Blacks had the same dreams, the same aspirations, the same love of flight, but they were barred for social reasons, had never cast a long shadow. Out of this shadow stepped Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman is a dreamer, and she's a risk taker. She was born in 1892, before airplanes and long before equality. Bessie Coleman was born in poverty to a large family in Texas. As she was growing up, the dream of flight went from fantasy to reality. Despite her background, she was compelled to pursue it herself. She was a manicurist, but she decided she loved the idea and the adventure of flying. No one in the United States would train a young black woman to fly. But France had a world-renowned flight school that was more welcoming, if she could get there. So she would work during the day at a chili parlor just to raise enough money for her travels to France, and at night she would teach herself French. She raised money she didn't have, learned a language she didn't know, and earned an international pilot's license in 1921. She's the first African-American woman with a license to fly. And this was a real benchmark, not only for her race, but also for her gender. Bessie Coleman is this amazing, strong individual who wouldn't take no for an answer. With her pilot's license in hand, Coleman returned to an America fascinated with flight. Daredevil flight. In the 1920s, barnstorming was a fascinating and exciting form of aviation where stunt pilots would go up and they do all types of tricks and aerobatics in their aircraft. Barnstorming was part circus, part sport. Pilots competed for attention by pushing their planes to the limit. Bessie Coleman was no different, except she looked different. Bessie Coleman, sitting behind the wheel of the plane, was a sight to be seen. She was a small little woman, you know, but she'd go up in that aircraft and she'd do her loops and her flips and, you know, recover from stalls at the very bottom and blow everybody away. There was no one like her. Uh, there was no one who had this internationally recognized flying license and at the same time was a young black woman. And for a blazingly short time, she was the most extraordinary woman in American culture, particularly for African Americans. 